Continue with Donna and Alex. So what do you make of this? They're pretty strong words. The godfather of gridlock. Smart politics from Mr. Axelrod. They were going after Mitt Romney to try to bring Mitt Romney down last week. Now they're going after Newt Gingrich to try to build Gingrich up. If you're the president and you're the heavyweight champ, if you attack Gingrich, you bring him into the ring with you as number one contender. They're trying to elevate Gingrich so they extend the Republican process, make it more divisive. Do you think they want rather, a bigger fist fight? They, they'd rather face Newt Gingrich than Mitt Romney. Is that what you're saying? They'd much rather, and they'd rather keep Gingrich around as long as possible, which is no sure bet with uh, Gingrich's record. What do you think? Of course, we would like to keep Newt Gingrich in the arena. He's um, he's quite soundbitey, and he gives the Democrats something to fight against and also to fight for. So he's brilliant. But as Tom Senator Tom Cor Corbyn said yesterday, he's also very divisive, and he represents the kind of partisanship, hyperpartisanship that the American people have been turned off. So by. who is a bigger threat potentially as the Republican nominee to a second term for President Obama? Well, right now, Wolf, if you look at the polls, 50% of the Republican voters are still in this Dayton phase. So I would say that both Romney and Gingrich should be targeted by the Obama A lot community. of Republicans love the idea of, of Newt Gingrich debating Barack Obama. And, you know, it's almost like, do you want to buy a ticket for that debate? Republicans would actually vote for that. But Republicans also need to remember that when he was Speaker, when he led Republicans, Republicans didn't fare so well. When you say they didn't, he, when he was Speaker of the House, speaker, we ended up he, with he a very weak Republican. He did lead the Republican Revolution, a contract with America, and for the first time in 40 years, he led the Republicans to the majority in the House of Representatives. Yeah, he and he managed, a, and actually, and right after that, uh, we got very little done, and on top of that, he nearly destroyed the Republican brand. When you say he got very little huge. done, I covered that period. He pushed that, that Clinton White House to balance the budget. He was forceful on that, on welfare reform and some other issues. And he shut and down he, he, the he government. clearly had a role. And he shut down the government, and we ended up with Bill Clinton as president. And, and he also, as, as you well know, I, I believe that he, had, he did some good on welfare reform. He did some good on the Budget uh, Reform Act. He did some good on making sure that Congress live under the same rules as the rest of the American people. And he did some good here in the District of Columbia when we had some fiscal problems that uh, this, he was then the Speaker of the House. But all of that good is washed away by the bad, his own ethics charges, and, of course, the divisive brand that he brings to the American political system. I think the Brazil endorsement is not going to help him any any more than the Pelosi endorsement. And, and, and Mitt Romney, how tough does he need to get right now? Because you heard him say, uh, we took it live, uh, he just said, you know what, you're going to be seeing me, I'm going to be doing more media interviews. He's obviously welcome to come here in the Situation Room whenever he wants, uh, but he's going to become much more visible between now and Iowa and New Hampshire. Wolf, I think you just hit it on the head. Mitt Romney's got a 59-point economic plan. He doesn't need 60 points. He needs to demonstrate he's got the strength to get the job done, to be a president in tough times and turn this country around. People doubt that. They haven't seen him in the campaign. They haven't seen him fight. He's going to have to fight Newt Gingrich now. 